Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you a little bit of what it takes to uh, transfer data from one iPhone to another. In this case, what I'm doing today is I'm transferring from an iPhone 6 Plus to a 7 Plus. And um, from what I am gathering, the iPhone 7, okay, the iPhone 7 will come ready, okay, if you hit, if you triple click the home button, you can do a voiceover setup and uh, i did not know that until i started doing this today because i do have an icloud backup that i'm actually working on, on doing right now i don't know if you hear it in the background 41 percent backup my icloud backup is uh is continuing on it's 41 percent, and i'm gonna let it, let it complete on my iphone 6 plus which is where i am actually performing the icloud backup the idea here is that this is the first time I'm going to do this. 42%. 42%. I have always done it using iTunes, but this time I am going to back up my iPhone 6 Plus and restore all the data using Wi-Fi on my iPhone 7 Plus. And um, I just unpacked the iPhone 7 Plus. It's not on yet. I'm going to turn it on in a little bit as soon as I get this introduction over. So what, what am I going to do today? I'm going to transfer my iPhone 43%. 6 plus data everything iCloud everything over to my iPhone 7 plus and uh, we're gonna get started shortly when this backup is done in the meantime I'm gonna go work on a little bit of an artic article that I've been reading on this subject matter okay so let me switch over to that let me switch over to in the meantime the article that I'm actually reading on this this is from the Apple Viz website okay and credit goes to some of the authors there for providing information that is helpful to the community. In the meantime, you're going to hear in the background the percentage of my iCloud backup going on with my iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm going to allow it to continue and uh, you guys can hear it so we can get this done today. 25%. Alt tab. One of two uploaded. Alt tab. Untitled. Alt, 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 alt shift tab. Activating and setting up iPhone without sighted assistance. For Link graphic member banner and yes, if you get your phone and it has not been set up already left parent such as by your cell carrier right parent, just hit the home button three times and voiceover will come 46%. on. Find the button that keeps getting spoken in a bunch of languages and double tap it. Then proceed through the setup process. You will choose a language, country, Wi-Fi network, basic 46%. settings, and so on. Be sure that once it's set up and you are on the home screen, you go in and set your accessibility shortcut to voiceover. Triple clicking the home button during setup. Up. We'll toggle voiceover, but once setup is complete, it won't. Okay, so you notice triple clicking the the, the home button when 48%. the phone has not been set up yet uh, is uh, is an initial setup feature that Apple has. I did not know this. Thank you, Apple, for providing that. And uh, I'm going to continue with this while we wait for the backup here. I'm going to do a little bit more reading. So stand with me here. Ladies and gentlemen, heading level three link. Yes, you can. I only have experience setting that submitted heading level three link. Yes, you can. Okay, let's so see. Banner, I only have experience setting up as a brand new iPhone and restoring from my cloud, but I think you can accessibly restore from iTunes as well. Yes, from iTunes, we know we could do it because I've done it before. When you power your phone on right out of the box, wait for a little while. This is the only part you may have trouble with. If the phone is plugged in, it will probably vibrate twice when it's close to ready for input. If not, you'll have to guess. And when it's ready, at any rate, hit the home button three times. If this is your first iPhone, the home button is on the front edge of the top of the phone, just above the charging port, etc. Voiceover should start talking. If it's too soft, use the volume buttons on the left of the phone while it's talking it'll be talking in a bunch of different languages i'm not sure if this is necessary but i always keep my finger around the slide to set a button and only double tap it when it says it in english okay there you go so keep your finger on the setup button the slide to setup and only double tap it when it says english and in your case if you have your own language you know whatever language you want to pick that's what you want to do it will prompt when you after that it will prompt you for the information it needs you can choose to set up as a new iphone restore from iCloud, or restore from itunes 60%. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to restore from iCloud. okay 
which, which is what I'm gonna do. And notice the other one is at 61%. I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna continue here. If you're storing from iCloud, and if this is a brand new iPhone running iOS 8, and if you have an existing iCloud backup, it will probably offer to upgrade to iCloud Drive. Okay, <clears throat> so the idea here is that uh, you might I'm, you might get prompted for upgrading of iCloud, and um, I'm actually getting messages as well, but that's okay. That's the way this voiceover thing works. So we're going to have an opportunity to do that shortly, do the, um, the restoration from iCloud. In the meantime, let's check our progress here. Backup. Heading. iCloud. Back. Automatically. Cancel. Backup. In progress. Backing up. Progress. 90%. 90%. So we're going to give it some time here. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my other phone, which I still have it packed because I didn't want, want it to get scratched. I got I got the, the jet black one, so I, 91%. You know, I didn't want, want it to get damaged or anything. <clears throat> These phones are very, very nice, by the way. Very, very nice. Um, so I'm going to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to press the power button now. And I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to wait for it here. Estimating time remaining. Progress, 93%. Okay, great, 93%. I'm going to wait for this phone to, to talk to me here. It's not going to talk anytime soon, but I'm going to wait uh, just a couple minutes. I think the Apple thing is on the screen, so I want to make sure that I don't do anything until I'm absolutely sure that I can triple-click the home 95%. button. Triple-click the home button. Backup, heading. Okay, looks like it looks like the backup is done. Let's see. iCloud backup. Okay, done. So the backup is done. Let me see if I can. If I can, I'm gonna triple click the home button. See what happens here. Voiceover on. Springboard. Marhaban. Primo Bateo Principal Para Brer. More info. More info. Trip. Hedge. Hedge. Head. Trip. Hey. Ava Pena Malacodina. More info. Bup. More info. Hala, hala, pulsa el de inicio para abrir, button. That's in Spanish. I'm going to wait for the English one to come up. Hala, pressioner inicio para abrir, button. Hello, press home to open, press home to open. There it is, button. Pul English. Set up, English, button. All right, looks like I'm going to set it up in English. I don't have my mixer here, but I'm sure you guys can hear that. I'm putting up the volume. Espanol, English. Button. Okay. English. Back button. English. And I'm going to right flick with my finger here. Select your country or United States. Button. Okay. United States. Double tap. Back button. I'm going to right flick with my finger here. Choose a Wi Fi network. Two wire 100, six, two wire 300, two wire 823. There Secure. is my. Single strength 96%. There is my Wi Fi. Double tap to join the network. Password. Secure I think I remember it, okay? Is edited. More. Numbers. Left parent. Alright, here we go. Okay. Password. Join. Join. In jo progress. I'm joining my Wi-Fi network here. Let's see what happens. Next button enabled. Next right. button enabled. Back button. In progress. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Great. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. It's going to activate the iPhone now. Back button. All right, good. So let's... Location services. Heading. All right. I always turn on location services because it's uh, it's really a neat way to have all sorts of neat information and great information for us, especially Facebook. visually Facebook. impaired. Facebook so Speech off. at this point, I'm going to actually turn off the um, voiceover on my other phone, the speech. Uh, because I already have the backup, so I'm going to restore from iCloud here. Location services allows maps and other apps about location. Sir, enable location services button. You can disable it if you want, and I'm actually right flicking here. Enable. Place your finger. Touch ID. Place your finger. 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 Adjust your grip. F photo of a person holding. Continue. Button. Continue. We're going to continue here. Place your finger. 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 Complete. Tuck. Continue. Button. That was the iCloud, actually the, the fingerprint scanning here. This is a Touch ID password. 
that I have and I'm going to create one. Touch ID provides the convenience and security of fingerprint access. Occasionally your passcode will be required for validation. Passcode. Zero of six values entered. Passcode options. Button. All right, let's go. And uh, let's do this. Uh, let's put in a passcode of... Back button. Restore for my apps and data. Back, back, back button. Okay, I typed in my password. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in... So let's back go. Button. Let's continue here. I'm actually at the place where I can do a restore from backup. Apps and data. Heading. Back button. Apps and data. Restore from iCloud backup. Button. That's what I want to do. Restore from text field. Is editing. Example. At iCloud.com. Okay. It Character mode. Insertion point at J. It wants the Apple ID here. iCloud sign in. Heading. Next. iCloud. Net back button. Back. Net. I Apple text field. Password. Required. Secure text field. Insertion okay, I'm going to type in. More. I'm gonna, so I want you to type in your Apple ID here. I'm going to type in the password here. For, forgot Apple ID. Your Apple ID is the email ad name. Add. It's Apple ID. Enter your Apple ID to continue. To return. Alert. Apple ID verification code. A message with a verification code has been sent to your other devices running iOS 10 or Mac OS Sierra or later. Enter the code to continue. Okay, so you're going to be asked to enter a code here. Speech on. Remind, Apple reminders. 20 reminders. Rem Apple sign requested. Your Apple ID is being used to sign to an iPhone. Passcode field. Zero okay, so notice. Last backup. One alert. Don't allow. This is two-factor authentication now. For those of you who have two-factor authentication enabled, this is what you're going to get on your primary Apple ID. This is a good thing. And you want to do, what you want to do is you want to get your password typed in from this and allow button. I'm going to allow, allow. Settings. Last backup. Alert. Apple ID verification code. and then button. it wants me to put a code here Seven. Zero. Eight. Zero. Okay. Button. Cancel. Button. now the Apple ID has been verified okay. Settings. Last backup. 1, 46 PM. in progress through two-factor authentication Please read the following terms before using your iOS device. By using your iOS device, you are agreeing to be bound by the iOS terms and conditions. If you choose to use iCloud or Game Center, or both, you are agreeing to be bound by the respective iCloud and Game Center terms and... So, terms and conditions, you want to read that. Agree. Button. And the Agree button is right on top of the Home button. So, I'm going to double tap on it. I just tapped on it once. Agree. In progress. So, what I do want to do is I want to set up... Alert. Apple ID password required. Oh, let's see. Okay. Enter your password in my cloud settings. Not now. Button. Continue. Button. All right. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. In progress. Okay, I've got my phone here. Okay. I'm doing a restoration, a restore of everything into this new phone. And I've gone through the two-factor authentication. Um, Apple makes it very easy for us to be able to be secure online. And if you want to see the two-factor authentication... Um, video. I have one that I posted recently about how to do two-factor authentication with iOS devices. I highly recommend it. And I think it's uh, something that we should all have enabled, just in case. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. So right now, in progress, in progress. It may take it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. It's setting up the Apple ID, okay? And uh, we're gonna hang in here for a second. Hang in here for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the notifications on my other phone because I want to make sure that we don't get interrupted but we're waiting for the Apple uh, system to uh, activate. Zero of four values enter. There it is. Your passcode is encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. Some of your data is enter passcode. Cancel. Cancel. Enter passcode for other iPhone. Heading. Some of your data stored in iCloud is protected by the passcode you use to unlock the iPhone Jose's iPhone. Good. And I already know what that password is. Forgot iPhone passcode? Button. Forgot iPhone passcode. Four of four values entered. Your passcode is encrypted and cannot be read. Some of your pass pass forgot forgot iPhone passcode. Your pass some of your data enter passcode for other iPhone in progress. It's in progress back right button. now. There it is. Back button. Choose backup. He latest iPhone backup heading today at 1:46 p.m. Jose's that iPhone iPhone 6 Plus button. That's the one we want. Other backups. Today at 1.46 p.m. Today at 1.46 p.m. Jose's iPhone in progress. Restore from iCloud. So, 
what we're doing is choosing to restore from iCloud. Notice how it asked me for the password that's on the other phone. And um, it's really good security. I really like this. Progress, 2%. 2%. It's going to take some time. And uh, we're going to let it go here. So we could capture everything we can. And we're going to edit out some of the things that are not needed in this uh, tutorial. But this is a great way to uh, uh, change, exchange your iPhone data. Again, I did not know this, but when the iPhone comes from factory, you can triple click and uh, do setup with voiceover. That's really great. Time remaining, about 33 minutes. Since I have 33 minutes, so I'll be working and I'll Time be- Time remaining, about 40 minutes. Progress, 2%. 2%. I'm going to leave it there, sitting there in the meantime, while this backup, while this restore takes place. Restore from iCloud. Progress. 2%. Time remaining. About 43 minutes. Time remaining. About 52 minutes. Time remaining. About 57 minutes. Time remaining. About 56 minutes. Time remaining. About 57 minutes. Time remaining. About 56 minutes. 18%. 19%. 20%. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the rest of the process is simply going through and finalizing the setup of your phone. And um, after this, what you'll have is you'll have all your data restored from iOS or iCloud. And then uh, you're going to be able to configure your new iPhone. By the way, when the phone restarts, uh, there's going to be voiceover support already included uh, in the setup. And so that's a new thing with iPhone with the new iOS 10, in the older versions, um, you had to enable triple click for voiceover so that you could get voiceover running again. But since we have uh, the internet already, the Wi-Fi setup, um, you can either go by Siri and asking Siri to turn on voiceover, or you could just uh, triple click. I verified that that shortcut, the accessibility shortcut is set to triple click for voiceover. And um, so, the rest of this process, I cut it off because I know that there's a, quite a bit of information that's being displayed in terms of percentages and all that. But entirely, the process that I wanted to illustrate is completed. That part of it of setting up iCloud and connecting and making it, making the setup all accessible is what I wanted to illustrate. The rest of this process is simply to configure your new iPhone, getting all your data set up, logging into your applications. You're going to have to do all of that because that's not done for you. And this completes the episode here for setting up and transferring all your data from an old iPhone 6, right? Plus to an iPhone 7 plus. And I believe, and I'm pretty sure that this would apply to any iDevice that you might purchase from Apple. As long as you have an iCloud account and you've backed up your old device, you should be able to restore it accessibly using VoiceOver as soon as you start. So what's the summary? The summary is that if you triple click on home on a brand new phone, when you turn it on, you're going to get voiceover so you can use it to set up your iPhone, your new iPhone, your new iPad. Then you, you connect to Wi-Fi and then you enter your Apple ID and password and then you verify on your old device. If you have two factor authentication, you verify your authentication and then you restore you pick your backup and restore and then you set up your phone and this is jose tamayo for blind tech channel if you have any questions please please feel free to email us or place a comment down below make sure you hit the like button and send this to your friends and um, let us know 